Then remember to always cut the soap into half because it's always it forms ladders very well. And if you don't do it, it might finish on time. Then you apply the ladder on your palm and apply it on your face. It's an Welcome back to my channel. If you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Jane Lucy World. Welcome to my channel. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and also leave your comments down below. And also, don't forget to leave your notification bells on, like always, so that you always get notified whenever my video pops so, up. I'll be comparing two soaps today. That will be Yori Yori Soup and Dudu Osun Soup. That is do do or soon okay so don't go nowhere get your popcorn your mineral whatever it is you want to be last with and sit back don't leave your seat i'll be right back so i'm going to start by talking about yori yori so we'll talk about do or soon okay the um their differences and the similarities then i'll talk about how to use it their usage is so that it's gonna work for you in case you think it doesn't work and then how you know the original and the fake i need a sit time i also talk about what fans got to say about these two soups so i'm going to start with yori yori soup yori yori soup is actually a natural black soup that is made with fruits and um, herbs okay it helps to clear blemishes it, rem it removes stretch marks green vein pimples acne and all those things it also helps to fight bacteria and other skin diseases this soap is a natural like a hundred percent herbal soap that is made with sheer butter it's actually made with um, herbal extra glycerin vegetable oil and fragrance so so do the also now Dudu Osun on its own part is a Nigerian soup. Like I said, I don't know if I mentioned it that Yori Yori is in a Ghana soup. So Dudu Osun is a Nigerian soup from the name Osun. You know that it's actually some kind of a Yoruba name. Okay. It's also good for black spots, for eczema, for acne, dermatitis. Okay. And it's made with pure honey, shea butter, Osun. That is Osun in the name, Dudu Osun. And the Osun is the calm mood there. Then palm kernel oil is also made with um, lemon and lime juice, water, fragrance, even though it has the one that doesn't come with fragrance. Okay, so Dudu Osun comes in different types. It has the fresh fragrance, the classic, this one is the fresh fragrance, and that's the latest and the newest fragrance they have now. Then the classic fragrance, that's the one that you always know, the normal smell that everybody knows, and then the fragrance free. The fragrance free is as the one that doesn't have no fragrance at all, it doesn't have any smell, it is just there. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about the similarities between these two soaps. These two soaps are both natural black soap, they are African soaps. Okay, they are both good for all skin types. They are very good for oily skin. They are both dermatologically approved. They both form very well. They are also both made with shea butter. So these are the similarities in these two soaps. The differences in these two soaps is that this Dudu Rosun is a Nigerian soup. Okay, and this Yori Yori soup is a Ghana soup. And another thing is that as you can see, this is in a very, very big container. And this is it in a tablet form okay that's the difference between these two soaps this one is being sold for 1500 naira and this is being sold for 400 naira or 500 depending on the store that you went to so now i'm going to talk about how to know the original of the two the two soaps now this um maybe this okay let me start with to do soon as you can see on the pack already they have this scratch panel I don't know if you can see this scratch panel. You need to scratch it and then you dye the number that you see on it. And then you're going to find out if it is original or the fake one. But for this one, there is no way you find out if it is original or fake from the pack, except you open the soap. And that is why I always recommend that if you're buying this soap, you should always get it from a store that buy direct from the company or a store that you're very sure they sell original products. That's I always say this in every of my videos that I talk about this soap. But now, when you get it and you want to know the original of this soap, now if you open it like this one now, if you look at it, it's very thick 
from the inside like if you touch it is very they mix it very well but when you get the fake one it is very worth it like it's so that when you even bend it like this you can pour from the container but don't be scared because even if you bought the original or the fake you can still make use of it you don't have to dispose it and that's when i'm going to talk about the usages of this soap now you have different ways you can use your soaps okay most people say this to do so when they use it um it reacts badly on their face it's not good for their skin now let me tell you how you use your soap that it will work for you very well you don't just buy soaps and you use it for like one week and you dispose the same it is not good for your skin now when you start using your soap like these soaps now when i, I even talked about it being good for oily skin both of them okay so it's very good when you use them you use the moisturizing cream okay because it, it will make your skin dry so if you want to use these soaps both of them apply it on your face sometimes you know our face reacts more to things than our, our body you understand so when you apply it on your face you can actually leave it for some time you wash your body when you're done you wash off your face and then this is one how one way you can use the soap and if it doesn't work for you if you feel it's reacting badly on your face or it's not good for your skin don't just dispose it and go for another soap if you continue like this you're going to keep using different soaps and you will not even have one that is good for your skin so when you're if you're using it like that and it is not working for you then the, the next way you should try it is don't leave it on your face when you're bathing just apply it on your face immediately and wash it off okay this is another way you can try your, your soap and it will work perfectly for you then for this to do also most times it's not good to use the tablet and rub on your face sometimes it's important you cut it and use half first while using it just apply the leather on your hand and use it and wash your face don't use the face the soap directly on your face it's another way that you can use your soap and it will work for you very well because these soaps they lather very well they foam very well even this one the small quantity you you scoop from this one is going to be enough for your whole body this one can last for you as long as just depending on how you use it so like i said you must not use the soap on your face and leave it to dry sometimes sometimes you just use it and apply and wash it off immediately soaps can work in different forms because the way it worked for this person might not really be the way it will work for you so just try different forms and keep on using one product if you use it for a while, I just try different methods of using it and then you see that this soap is going to be good for you because this soap, like I said before, is actually dermatologically approved and it's good for all skin types, like I said before. So another important or beautiful thing about this situation is that it's very good for eczema. If you have eczema, I would recommend you go for this situation. That is it but normally this is the soap that i use okay i only go for this when my soap this one is finished this one is actually more expensive than this one so if i don't have the money to buy this i'll go for this one and both of them works very well for me they are very very good for all skin types okay so i'm going to talk about what fans got to say about this one too the yuri yuri soap and i i wrote it down here in my book now someone said yuri yuri Ghana soup that gives that flawless and glowing skin. It clears black spots and tones the skin perfectly. That is what someone has to say about it. Someone else said, the one that is amazing, it blends with all types of skin and leaves no blemishes. Another person said, you can't go wrong with this soap at all. It repairs damaged skin, has anti-aging, removes sunburn. It's just like I said before. These are the two very good soap that you can use. Like, And if you use it well, you're not even going to look for another soap again. I've been using it and this is a, in fact, this has been my soap for a very long time. And it's going to continue being my soap. So long they keep producing it. So guys, I hope I did justice to this too. So thank you for watching my video. Thank you for staying to, to, to the end of the video. I'd like to see you in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. And also leave your notification bell. On, so that whenever I upload a video, you're going to get notified. Please don't also forget to leave your comment on the comment section. Okay, just say whatever your mind is, and I assure you, I'll always be there to answer your questions or whatever comment you have. Thank you so much. See you in my next video for now.